Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. And today we are talking about the man, the myth, the legend, Isom. From the breakout campaign, Isom number one, the self-titled character. So this is going to be awesome, and uh, today I am uh, drinking just uh, in good old Bush Light. Like, you know, it's nothing fancy. I can't do the fancy beers all the time. I wish I could do fancy beers all the time. That'd be amazing, but money being money and me being me, this is what I got tonight. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into uh, what we know about Isom so far and talk about maybe some of his power set and all that. <laughs> All right, over here on the Ripiverse.com, because that's where we got to be, right? All right, short story, Avery Selman is a common rancher, but that wasn't always the case. After obtaining some unique abilities, I like how they say obtaining right there. I don't think the Excepts are a natural product to the planet like the mutants were, but we'll get into that later. Avery spent a brief stint being a hero under the moniker Isom in the city of Floor Park, Texas. Uh, realizing that it wasn't for him, he walked away from this life, but after responding to a call from his sister, some violent altercations ensue, and has Avery reconsidered his approach? What happened? Grab Isom number one to find out. Okay, so... I won't get into everything here, but so we know that he was a hero in the past, right? And we know that he decided he's probably not a big city guy being that he moved out of the city, get up his own ranch. So he's, he's going to have, I don't think he's going to be the type of guy that wants to do the confrontation right off the bat, but I think he's going to be the type of guy that's going to let you know about something if you... It, you know, if you start something. So, um, <clears throat> it's really interesting. So obviously we get, you know, uh, you know, we know he's got a sister. We know he's got a past in the city. So that's the other thing too. This is, you know, it, 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 this is one of those things. It's like you, you get a guy returning back to the hometown to, you know, he might get back into some of the things that he used to. Um, obviously, we know he's got connections with the, he was a friend uh, and grew up with Darren Fontano, who is the protagonist uh, that we were uh, notified of in the trailer release. And then we have things down here. Um, the Alpha Corps and Yaira have their own set of conflicts, you know. So, and then by, somebody by the name of Santuan. So it seems everybody's a little salty with Isom. So... Whatever Isom did or was in the past, when he hung it up, he, I think that was his thing that he made the sin of. Um, getting into his powers, I, I don't think Isom can fly. I do not think that Isom is capable of flight in almost everything we see. And I've looked at, I looked at cover C. It looks like his feet are planted. He's turning around to run or something like that. Obviously, Yaira has the upper ground up here. And cover one, you know, cover C is there. Um, obviously, cover A, it doesn't really show him flying or anything like that so a lot of people were saying maybe super speed uh possibly super strength i think that there's a good chance he may be able to possess both of those things and it might be something completely different to that it could be something entirely different i had the the theory and the idea that maybe his his power set and ability is just uh like hyper adaptivity you know when people come at him he can uh, you know, he's going to have some other superhuman, you know, he'll, he'll be able to run a little bit faster and be a little bit stronger, but he'll ultimately be able to adapt and counter. Um, also, I, I, I think that we're going to see, I don't think we're going to see massive power scaling here. I think we're going to see basic type of power. But, I mean, if you look at this destruction here, I mean, uh, it looks like they're maybe fighting in like a junkyard or something uh, with Yaira. And then, obviously, you've got the background of the city on cover C here. Again, Look at his feet. His feet are planted on the ground in the Isom poster. And there's Yaira. That's everybody's favorite right now. And his t-shirts. His feet are planted right now. Uh, in the cards, his feet are planted. I don't think Isom is capable of flying. I do not think that that's a power set. You get here. Here's some, uh, you know, enjoy some interiors from the book, okay? So, you know, dude's, dude's a grounded fighter. He's... He, 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 guy's a grounded fighter. It looks like, uh, 
Yaira is over here with the Alpha Core, maybe. There's something going on with the Alpha Core there in Yaira. Um, I just did a video uh, talking about how I think the Alpha Core is probably in league with, like, government agencies and things like that. Um, you know, you look here. I mean, he's taken, I mean he, he's taken on a big dude. But again, big dudes above him. Obviously, these guys, I think these guys are grounded fighters. I don't see these guys as being... Um, flyers i don't i don't think that they're capable of flight which is really interesting to have isom launch like this and him i mean the suit's very simple very basic so he's got to have his own set of protective capabilities if his suit isn't going to be able to protect him so i think uh my guess is is that uh, isom probably has some variation of super strength um and possibly even super speed or if not super speed Maybe something along the lines of invulnerability or things like that. So, I, yeah, I think that I, I definitely am, am curious <clears throat> as to know where Isom's going to go. Um, but, you know, we get up here and let's go into his personality a little bit here. I think that, uh, you know what, hey, let's just do it this way. Let me just talk to you guys now instead of talking to the computer. I think that Isom is going to have... Um, you know, a temperament of saying, hey, man, look, I grew up, you know, in a bad neighborhood. I got out of that bad neighborhood. I got my own ranch now. I got my own life. I got my freedom, my open space. I work hard every day for what I got, and I don't want to jeopardize that. I don't want to go back to hood life, right? Um, I think that he is going to probably have an aversion to violence. Uh, and not so much, but, he, like, he doesn't want to start it, right? Like, he's not out to get anything. He's not out to, you know... Uh, to start to start the fights or anything like that. Um, I absolutely think we could see all of these characters knowing Isom. Um, and when he comes back, they all have some version of a grudge with him. Because why would we see so many different characters in conflict with Isom, right? And... That's just something interesting that he would choose those covers. Yaira is fighting him. The Alpha Core is fighting him. I mean, Santuan's fighting him. Darren Fontano's fighting him. Hell, the only person we haven't seen fight Isom yet is his sister. And that might even happen. <laughs> so we really got to think about, you know, what, I mean, whatever went down to make him bounce out of the superhero life it made a lot of people mad, right? And it, and then he probably still has enemies from that time period of when he was a superhero. So he's getting back into the fray here. Everybody's wanting to fight him. And I'm just sitting here going, but why does everybody want to fight him? You know, and what? Oh, excuse me. But what happened to make him do this? So I absolutely believe that... Uh, a lot of these questions are going to get answered in ISM number one. I mean, it's a 96, 97 page book, something like that. And I think he's got a couple other pages in there. That, so it's probably closer to like 100 pages, but he's going to have extras and stuff in there, I would imagine. Um, may, or maybe not. Maybe it's just 96 pages. And, you know, um, but yeah, that's just something that I really, really just struck me as odd. Like, in every single promotional thing that we have seen, Isom's feet are solidly planted on the ground. And that just struck... I bite. A lot of other people are airborne. You get a lot of people that are airborne and so on and so forth. So I really think it's going to be interesting to see his character and personality come up. I think I'm right. I think, I, I think I've got his personality nailed down based off of these... The, what Rippa gave in his little story synopsis and what he uh, gave in his um, in his video. So that being said, I think the only other thing to answer is how did Isom get his powers? What was the event that led to him getting his powers? How many people got their powers in the same way? Is this like a static shock thing where, you know, an event happens that gave a large quantity of people their capabilities and powers i mean we could see something like that that's absolutely possible so 
I'm excited for this, man. And he's starting to ship. I think he's getting ready for shipping in like the next like week or so. So we're we're gonna all start seeing our books. I think I ordered like day three. So um yeah, I think I ordered like day three or something like that. So hopefully, um, um, because I was in I was within the first like twelve thousand, I think. I know for sure I was within the first twenty thousand, but I think I was within I like because he he was at uh he was at like one point five million by the time by the time I jumped in so uh because it was like two or three days later so yeah but no I'm hugely excited for this I can't wait for this book to come out and I can't wait to be able to keep talking about this I think I need to make a video and we should really get into accepts what they are what's going on what's happening with those people are they mutants like what we've seen did they get their powers in a different way and I think they might have gotten their powers in a different way so yeah let's uh Let's just get pumped for this, guys. I'm super excited. So thank you guys so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. And I appreciate you all so much. We are over 400 subscribers right now and climbing every day. And the comments and the interactions that you guys have had have just been making me just just ooze over. So thank you guys all so much for everything. And I look forward to seeing you all next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Cheers. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.